Hello everybody, here is Michael Marks again and welcome to my channel, my work channel. Today bring you by the real life of Sister Cap Zoli. She has three children, so she make a living by pick up recycle. But today, Buwat and Putak went there in Jab Yum really to see her, and she is staying home today, and she try to collect and separate uh, the bottle and the can into the big bag. And Pubot asked her, how much do you make? And she said, about 10 kilogram, and one kilogram, she made about 400 real. 400 real is less than 25 cents per kilo. But she got 10 kilo, she got about 4,000 real. And 4,000 real is one dollar. Life is not easy. She have to raise her three children and her husband work as security, but he only get paid about 150 a month. But about three weeks ago, he just got that job, but he moving around uh, everywhere, he have to work 12 hours a day and start from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Pubot went there to see her say hello and she said hello and uh, what are you doing? She said she tried to separate all the can and the bottle separate and she said she separate the plastic bottles and the can not to be together not to be together and then she can sell it like i mentioned about one kilogram of the plastic bottle is 400 real with 4000 real is one dollar But what else should she do? She have to work and nothing else. She can earn the money because she have to stay home at daytime and take care of the kid or watching the kid and send the kid go to school. And at night, she went out there to pick up all kinds of the recycle. The recycle, like people put the trash along the street or in front of their home. She have to open that trash bag and then searching for recycle. Her life live in the hard situation, you know, with the trash and earn little money, like a struggle in Cambodia. And the other people ask her, can you raise my cows? If you raise my cow, if they have the baby, and you can have the baby, and then I can have the other cow baby. She raised the cows, two cows, and all female, and she have to searching for the grass and to feeding them. And her life so busy because the cows, you know, uh, they eat a lot of the grasses and she have to searching uh, the grass and to feeding them because uh, at night time she have to go out there and pick up searching for recycle and daytime her job is have to take care of the children and feeding the, these cows. This cow uh, didn't have any sign having baby yet. If both of them having the baby, 
the owner can have one baby and she can have one baby. She have to find something to do, keep her future hope and help her children in a good life and good education because she have to do this job and her life very busy, she's working hard, but no way else to help her family and earn more income, no matter what, how hard she works. And no sign her life going to change in the future. And toward us, uh, what you do with this car when she explains everything to toward how she can use her time and raise this cow and maybe she get a baby and raise the baby and get the biggest and then she can sell it earn some money. That's why I'm making this video and I'm working hard on it to helping them. A lot of people in Cambodia, Cambodian people need help because their life is struggle generation to generation without hope. They have to have good job, have good income to raise their kid and send the kid go to school. And if the kid having good education, they can change the whole uh, situation and breaking through for the poverty life. And if they are healthy by now, it is better or it is okay. But why is in the family getting sick? They have to take whatever the money or their whatever they own, like the old motorcycle, the car, or something else, they have to sell it. They have to uh, pay for uh, the doctor why they take their family, one of their family getting sick. But now they cannot break through the poverty line, get more pressure and more pressure, more trouble and problem in their lives. It lies it's hard in Cambodia, so it's nothing to help in around because the government didn't have any system to helping them. They have to survive by themselves somehow, some their own way how to do it. But when they live in America, nothing to be complained because we got everything like the government had the system to helping us when we lost a job, like we get laid off and we can collect employment. And during that time, there's a lot of job open over here and we can searching for a job. And then if we didn't have a job or we really broke, we can apply for the government and helping us to start the other life a couple of months or six months or year until we can get up. Over there, and no, nobody can help. No Medicare, no medical, no anything. And when they send the kid go to school, they have to take the kid there at no school bus. And then they have to have some money to give to the kid and to have some food to eat. But over here, uh, we are having a great life and wonderful land and a lot of opportunity. If we want to make our life different, and we can do it, but over there, it no. Poor and Putak got some donation donated by overseas people and sent to him, and he took the money to helping her. Probably not a whole lot, but can helping her to start her new life. This is the end of the real stories. Uh, it's not for detail, I only bring it up a little bit, but of course I have to talk a long hour for her story, but uh, a lot of things that I cannot do it because very long video. So they go part one, part two, part three, it's a long video, but I make it print only some print, only some uh, real life important to share with you guys. 
If you see this video, you would like to help her, please share the video. And if you want to support, you haven't subscribed yet, please help to subscribe and don't forget to click notification bell to receive new video. And thank you very much for your support and you will like you. We'll see you guys on the next video. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye now.